when lighting a scene in Lightwave, you're pretty much painting with light. Uh, right now, in, in this scene, I've just got this uh, box that's flipped. Uh, and the camera is uh, sitting inside the box or you know pointing inside the box and we've got one light so if I do a render I've got uh, a basic room uh, a purple room uh, but uh, a room and you can see the point light here uh, is lighting up the room and because it's close to the wall uh, and the floor here it's much brighter here and uh, and if I wanted to if I wanted to add some shadows more shadows uh, and I don't have uh, over in render globals. I don't have ray trace shadows on right. There's nothing to, to cast a, a shadow. Um, so we're just painting with light right now. So I'm going to go to the properties panel. Okay. And what I'm going to do is for the intensity fall off, I'm going to set that to, to linear. And this grid, this is five meters. So let's just try 10 meters. So a 10 meter fall off. And see what happens okay so we're adding shadow we're adding dark areas uh, and we've got our our bright area here because of the fall off now if I go to the top view um, I can see let's uh, just move this out of the way a little bit I can see where my fall off takes place and with linear you've got the center of the light and that would be the strongest a hundred percent and then as it gets out to here it goes to zero so lights not going to reach here lights going to be dying off okay the, the the intensity value is going to die off as it gets to this ring you're only going to see uh, this ring in the ortho windows but we're going to go back to perspective and um, I, what I what I want is that light that we had before so I'm going to go back to no fall off okay because I like this, but I want to be able to put a shadow, say, let's say we want to put a shadow right here, okay, but we don't want to change that light. Well, normally you would think, okay, well, we need some kind of object to put there, but remember, we get to create the kind of lighting that we want. We can even do things that don't, wouldn't happen in uh, the real world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another light. So I'm going to go over to items, add lights, and let's do a point light again. And I'm just going to call this shadow, move it over and up let's do a render okay because you can you can see it right here you can see the hot spot let's see if we can page up to go to the last render and you don't see a hot spot there and now you see a hot spot here so you can see that it's affecting the room but also the whole room got brighter because we don't have fall off on this i'm going to go to the properties panel for um for the light i hit p whenever i was in the image viewer and that brings up uh, a different panel for the image viewer so i'm going to go to the, the back window and hit p okay and for that shadow light instead of um instead of 50 percent i'm going to type in negative 100 percent i'm giving a negative value and for the intensity fall off let's do linear and let's do um let's do four meters and do a render okay so as you can see uh, we still have our light coming from our room but in in the range that we've set this light there's a shadow now there's nothing casting that shadow but okay why, why would we want to use a negative light that's that's the the term that um, that this set up I mean it's a negative value on a light but but we refer to them as negative lights and well why would you want this well say you have a room and everything's looking great uh, and you've you know you've got your lighting how you want but you just need a little bit more of a shadow underneath a table and or underneath an object and there's a shadow there but you need it a little bit more well maybe you need to just go in and throw a negative light and darken up that area okay so you can use negative lights to paint shadows but what you can also do is uh, is use a negative light to suck color out of an area and this this can be a lot of fun and give you a lot of control uh, when when you're setting up your light so why don't we take a look at, at doing that I'm gonna change my light type from a point light to a spotlight okay and I'm going to set this to 50% just so we can see what it looks like before we go into the negatives. And for the spotlight, I'm going to hit 5, which is the light view. I'm going to rotate, and I'm just going to point it at this corner. Okay. And let's do a render. Okay. And, well, you can kind of kind of see uh, it right here. I'm going to increase the value. So I'm going to go to perspective view. I'm going to move that 
I'm going to move that light away. Do a render. And let's increase the value. Light properties. I'm going to increase that to 200. And I just need to see... Oh, I've got linear set. I was like, what's going on with this light? So we got to remember that we have intensity fall off on. I'm going to turn that to off. And now I don't need 200% for my intensity. Okay. So we'll see. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. What was happening is with that fall off, the light wasn't reaching the wall, uh, which of course um, would be a problem if we're trying to get, if we're trying to get this. Okay. So what if we use a negative value? Well, I'm going to type in negative 100. And as we would, uh, uh, you know, expect it to do, we, we've got a big black shadow on there. Okay, but what if, and that's using white light. Now, what if we change the light color? Now, we've got purple, and, and purple is basically blue and red mixed together. So why don't we see what it looks like when we suck all the blue out of, or most of the blue, out of this wall? Well, you can see it in OpenGL. Okay, we've got purple and all of a sudden it's red in this corner, but let's check it out. Okay, so because I'm new using a negative value, I'm sucking out this color right here, the light color. So it's not creating a shadow in this case. It's, well, it's dark because it's su sucking out that, uh, that blue color. Let's suck out the red color and, well, you can see an OpenGL back here. It's going to make it blue. Okay, so... Don't forget when you're painting with light, when you're lighting your scene, don't forget that you can uh, use negative values to darken areas, create shadows where you might just need that extra bit of shadow. Uh, but then also, don't forget that you can suck color out of the, the scene by using a negative light and by choosing the color that you want to remove from that area. Now, if you don't want the entire, all the objects in the scene affected by this, well, you can always come over and exclude objects from this light. Okay, so this is a, this is a really handy tool for, for fully controlling how you're, um, how you're painting with light, how you're lighting your scene. And this is using negative lights, it's just a negative value. And uh, if you don't want to suck any color out, use white. But if you want to suck some color out, well, drop that color in the, the light color.